Since the anime was released on Netflix back in July 2019, I feel by making this review might be a little redundant. Needless to say, I think the anime needs to have an honest review before we all wait patiently for the third season, which won't arrive sometime in 2021. <laughs> Welcome to Anime Streamer, the channel providing you reviews and recommended animes in the past decade. The anime mainly focuses on two main characters, Kazu Yamashita, an average salaryman working for a high corporation called the Nogu Group, and Oma Tokita, a fighter who uses the Nico style, which is a hybrid martial art form similar to MMA fighters who uses their own personal fighting style. Kazu gets blackmailed by the CEO, Hideki Nogi in becoming the caretaker of Oma before proceeding to the Kengen matches and then later taking part in the Kengen Annihilation Tournament. A tournament where high corporation businessmen hire martial artists with great skill to win them businesses. People who already read the manga might not appreciate the anime as much but if you're new to watching this and haven't read the manga it's a good experience. The anime art design with the black outlines from the characters and a dark colour background really looks like a comic book theme which shoots out in both 2D and 3D. It's an interesting concept approach making this anime unique and different to all others. What's common in most Japanese anime is when there are technicalities to explain or we the viewers begin to learn more about the characters abilities either the character themselves or narrator explains in perfect summary form. It provides us some nice facts and insight about the different forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat and how these characters utilise them naturally to their advantage. The frame rate on both static and dynamic movement is incredibly smooth. Compare this to the Fist of the Blue Star Regenesis that aired back in 2018. I watched the very first episode and I simply gave up. The animation was so choppy, I just couldn't stand it. <laughs> It has the tournament arc vibe to it, just like Dragon Ball Super Baki And the latest one yet, the God of High School I think a lot of anime fans out there are craving for that tournament series to keep us occupied during the coronavirus lockdown and since this is a very unique anime it's not being recognized as much while it's being sat behind the digital library never to be seen again. Being a fan of martial arts I really like the series and it really entertained me continuously keeping me engaged with all the characters. I wouldn't say it's the best of the best and it's definitely not just an average action anime. It shouldn't be measured and compared to other animes, but it should be truly recognised by its artistry on both animation and martial arts execution. This is not, this is not 